Good morning, guys. Hey. Welcome back to our channel. We are at the Nelson Market mm -hmm. in the Abel Tasman, Nelson, Nelson Tasman region. <laughs> Whatever. And it is pretty early in the morning. It's just after 8 o'clock, and we're really excited to be here. We've just spotted some Mori Fry Bridge, which I think we should try. What do you think? Yes, I'm very excited to try this. So, Becca's been to this market and she's been raving about it ever since she's been here, especially with regards to this Mori Bridge. So, let's go try it now. Yes. We just got the fry bread and it is so nice and hot and I am so excited. I'm just gonna dig in. Mm -hmm. It's as good as I remember, it's so nice. I like it a lot. You have to try it. So I got the um, savory one with cream cheese, pesto, bacon, lettuce and caramelized onion. Here we go. Yeah, it's really good, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's like a donut burger. We are still at the Nelson Market and we have gotten more goodies to try. So in here, it's not a coffee. Do not be deceived because it is actually a chai made by a very cool couple who are probably hippies. Is that rude to say? Hippies are cool. Yeah, hippies are cool. Why would it be rude to say that, Joe? Because it's an assumption. They might not be hippies. Cool truck though, it's purple. I love the spice and the ginger that comes through. But there's something about this chai that it's a little bit watered down at the same time. I'm not sure what it is. Is it worth the $7? No. All right, next thing is this custard square. And as you know, I love custard. We've been on hunting for a custard square for a long time now because I love custard. And we have been, I've been anyway, so a bit disappointed with what, I've been, with what we've been finding. Um, the last couple of weeks but this one here looks divine I would say oh. mm. that's what you've been looking for it is very good okay I I want some yeah. I know it's not it's, you know breakfast time but I want some of this okay we have to go get another one bye <laughs> yeah you yeah. Leaving a chai. Right. Going into the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Peanut butter factory, which makes the best peanut butter in the world, arguably, arguably in yeah. the world. <laughs> so, we are just about to head into a factory tour right now. I'm gonna take you guys along with us, so let's go. All right, guys, so we've had a wee introduction with the rest of the group, and we're just going up these spiral staircase inside the factory. Um, our first impressions are this place is really cool so far already, like, it is definitely made for function. It is super themed um, and just really cool. I'm excited to see how everything actually works though. Same. And try some peanut butter. Mm. Even though I know what it tastes like, but it's still cool to be trying it here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is their Hall of Fame apparently. This is everyone that works here and creates the peanut butter or does the tours or anything like that. These are the people, so we can thank these guys for this peanut butter tour. Australia today? Good. <laughs> I'm only kidding, of course. We love our Aussie friends. They grow fantastic peanuts. That is so much lighter than I was expecting. Would, yes, would you use peanut butter as a shaving cream? Too expensive. <laughs> so there are three main assembly lines in this um, factory. The first two uh, make all the standard jars of peanut butter. The ones that you would often buy. The third one, however, makes the large the larger tubs. Because it's a Saturday, it's a little bit hard to see exactly 
how things are being made but it is still cool to have a look at all the equipment and I have to say I am really impressed on how clean the kitchen is yes it is so clean the factory is really really shiny it looks super new and the floor like I see, I see no mess anywhere it is so so pristine I'm just about to make some peanut butter by exercising so basically I think you peel them and it grinds the peanuts and you make peanut butter. So this is the peanut butter I just made. Now it doesn't have any salt or sugar, it's literally just ground up peanuts, but I'm gonna try it. It's so good. It's so good, oh my gosh. They have roasted those peanuts so well. It is delicious. It's so good. Right, we're gonna go downstairs now because the, the toys left us. <laughs> and Emma here is gonna come round with some cashew butter today. So like I said, we use the uh, grind down the cashew butter and almond butter the same way that we took the cashew almond butter out of it. No, we don't add any it's salt. Really it's really creamy. Cashew really nice. Alright guys, we have come to an end of this amazing peanut butter factory tour. Uh, I say amazing because, I mean, to us this is the best peanut butter in the world. Probably a little bit biased, but I mean it's really cool. It is cool, and it is really good for you as well, which is kind of exciting. It's local, it's healthy, No delicious. sugar adders. <laughs> like no other add additives either, you know, like a lot of peanut butters have like emulsifiers and chemicals and whatever else, but this stuff is just naturally amazing and you might be surprised to actually find a jar of picks peanut butter in your local supermarket because they do export it to a number of countries was it 14 16 countries in the world so have a wee wonder maybe you'll find this and do let us know in the comments below if you have tried it before and if you are going to try it, let us know what you think about it. Or if you have any peanut butter recommendations, what sort of peanut butter is like local to your country? And I don't know, maybe we'll try and try it. Thank you so much for watching guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!